Okay, this is me again, a second attempt at making this video, because the first one, I don't know why something went wrong with the audio, uh, I couldn't hear anything, there was an awful kind of like noise in the background. So what I'm going to try is, I think I'm going to break this down into uh, one minute or a few minute uh, sections so that I can check, so that I don't just talk for 10 minutes and then find out that it's not audible. So, um... Second day of a lockdown here. I mean, they call it lock. Well, I don't know. They, they don't even call it a lockdown here, but I think it's more like a quarantine because we're not allowed to leave our homes for anything, not even to get food or or, <clears throat> or water. So I thought, what better time to start vlogging? I've um, you know got plenty of time, uh, so now seems a pretty good time to start. I kind of wanted to start, you know, vlogging on this channel. Um, to just so that when I'm not putting music out there, I still, I'm still able to upload some content. It'll me, it'll just, it'll just be me like waffling on instead of actual music. So maybe not as good, but hey. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I'm in Shanghai and we're undergoing a a, a lockdown of sorts. They locked uh the first half of the city, the uh, eastern side of the city. Um, a few days ago, they were supposed to reopen yesterday. Uh, but they, I don't. Sounds like many areas didn't reopen, and uh, yesterday they they locked uh, our half of the city. Um, so allegedly for five days, uh, which is okay, but I'm told um, that actually the way it works here is if they find one single positive case um, within your uh, within your compound, then they lock everybody in that compound uh, for uh, fourteen days. And I'm told, I, I don't know, this hasn't been confirmed, uh, but I, I trust the source. If they find a single positive case within the sub-district, the sub-district being kind of like a bit smaller than a district, then they will lock that entire uh, sub-district for seven days. So it could be seven days plus five or 14 days plus five. So we're looking at potentially 19 days in here, uh, 19 days or 12 days stuck in this very tiny uh, studio apartment, uh, which is very expensive because Shanghai, uh, the rents are super expensive. So anyway, yeah, it's, it's a very small studio, um, literally just, just enough room for, sorry, it's also a bit of a mess, but I thought vlogging is all about being real, so I thought I wasn't going to tidy up before showing you around. Um, this is just me living here, I have a very, very a mini kitchen, it's enough to make food. Um, just a tiny kitchen, I don't know if you can see anything, and then a, a small bathroom. So, I mean, for a person, it's comfortable, I don't need a lot of space, but it becomes a problem when you, you can never leave. <laughs> Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I tried, we live ac actually, we live in a very nice area, I don't, I don't know if you can see, it's got a lot of trees and, and, and green, and it's, it's gorgeous outside, it's a beautiful spring day, and it's literally, uh, you get this feeling of like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be stuck indoors, um, you kind of want to go out, so I thought, I'd, um, I looked out the window, and I saw a little girl running around with two, or two adults, maybe her parents, and I thought, oh, maybe, maybe we're allowed to, to walk within the compound, we can't leave the compound, because the gate is shut, but I thought, maybe we can walk around the compound, that, that'd be nice, you know, that'll keep me sane, uh, at least, um, so with the kind of excuse of, you know, taking out my rubbish, um, I took a walk outside, so I took my rubbish all the way to, it's near the gate, well, you, you know, you got the bins, <clears throat> threw the rubbish out, the, the guard saw me, he didn't say anything, so I was like, okay, at least we can do that. But then, here's the funny thing, when I when I walked back, um, I kind of like, um, I turned uh, I turned left towards this like a little park, and I, I bumped into two people, there was a, a, a young woman uh, in a yellow, uh, an orange vest, and there was an older guy who was just in plain, plain clothes, and the older guy looked at me and I was like, go home. I was like, I, I said to her, I'm a lot. And I, I was like, what was wrong? And, and it was like, go home. And then the, um, the, the younger woman, who was uh, more polite, <clears throat> she spoke better English, uh, admittedly. But then again, the, the, the older guy, I replied to him in Chinese, I didn't even acknowledge that, as they often do. Um, so the, the younger woman who, who spoke better English, she was like, oh, please go home. Um, you can't be here. I was like, well, what do we do about the rubbish? And she was like, 
leave it outside the door and we'll collect it for you. So it seems we're not even allowed to leave the building. We, we must be inside, uh, indoors at all times. So not not great. Um, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can, you know, not five days is fine, but the prospect of being stuck in here for 19 days in, in this cement box is, is not ideal, especially when this is not my first uh, quarantine. I came back to Shanghai actually last September I came back to China last September, so I had to undergo uh, five weeks of quarantine, first three weeks in a city, and then I came to Shanghai and uh, added another two weeks on top. So, you know, I, I, I thought, I, I hoped I was done uh, back then. 19 days, um, uh, it would be pushing it a bit. We, because you see, the thing is, we can't get food, I don't, I don't think. We, we're not allowed to go out. This is this is why I think it's more like a quarantine than a lockdown. We we can't leave the building, not even to get food or water, and it seems that deliveries aren't really working because there's nobody to deliver because everybody else is also stuck. Also, restaurants are closed. I tried to get some takeaway yesterday. I wanted to to test it, and um, they they were all uh, cl closed on online. As you said, they were closed, and I think supermarkets as well. Surely there there must be. I'm not sure, but they must be closed because there's nobody. There's nobody uh, who who is not locked, so there would be no one to run the supermarkets. And anyway, there'd be no one delivering the food. So it was a bit of a nightmare trying to get through the, the you know the past few days because they announced they would they would lock us. So the supermarkets were empty. I managed to get a little bit of water. That's all the water I managed to get. I don't know if you can see that. So I mean that will last me uh, for five days for sure. But any longer than that, I'm not sure. I think I'll have to start boiling water. Um, boiling water, I've got some rice. I can live on rice, I guess, for uh, up to a month. It won't be, won't be an interesting diet, but at least, you know, it'll keep me fed. But, uh, so, you know, it shouldn't be, this shouldn't be longer than a month. Uh, but you never know the things that happen over here, so. But anyway, let's, let's talk about important things. Um, so, you kind of have to look for uh, the the bright side of the situation, the silver lining in the cloud, which is um, this could be a good time to be productive, also musically. Uh, so I'll try and make more music. Um, I've already made two tracks, not too happy with the first one, but I think I'll just up upload it anyway, maybe today. And then another track, I'll upload it in the next few days. It's kind of a bit of a problem when you, um, you, you know, when you have the sort of like perfectionist syndrome, when you, your things, the things you make, they never sound good enough. They never sound like they're up to scratch. And, you know, you think, oh, maybe I shouldn't put this out there. It's awful. But if you, you know, sometimes I get stuck in that, you know, frame of mind for like weeks with a project and it never sees the day of light because of that reason. And it, it's especially true when, you know, there's so much you need to know when you do everything by yourself. You know, you need to do the mixing, you need to do the mastering. I'm not an audio engineer, so I knew I knew nothing about those things. I had to learn, and well, I had to learn. I have to learn. You know, I I, uh, I don't think I'm very good at those things um, yet. But at, at the same time, what you do, you know, you you gotta. I think you gotta do the best that you can, and then just put things out there. Um, last year I, I came up with this idea of doing an actual album rather than just uploading random music on YouTube, collecting a few tracks and, and doing an album and like signing up to uh, a music distributor and having it on like streaming platforms. And I still want to do that, but I'm behind with that. I think the idea is like you need to give yourself a deadline. Um, I should probably do that. Um, not keen on having it on having my music on Spotify. I'm not gonna lie. I don't find it to be a very ethical platform. Uh, it's a bit exploitative the rates that they pay musicians. But there are other platforms out there that you know could be better. And I think the, you know, uh, of course the marketing part is the is the, the difficult part. It's, it's all well and good to have your music up there, but if no one actually knows about it, no one goes and listens, then it, you know what's the point? Um, I suppose it's a step forward. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully I'll make more of these, um, and um, I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here. The sunglasses, by the way, it's not that bright inside. It's because I've got some pretty bad blepharitis these days. I don't know if you can see it. 
uh, about it for about a year and a bit. Um, and it was interesting because I thought doctors don't know what to do about it. They just give you an antibiotic and, and hope for the best. And the antibiotics didn't work. So they, they tell you, oh, it could be like an allergy, like food related things, like a food intolerance. Um, but it didn't seem to be. I, I tried to stay away from some foods. Um, and then I met this guy in a bar who said to me, oh, I had it too. Do you know it's stress related? And I was like, well, actually, now that you mention it, it makes sense because the, um, the past two years have been a bit hellish, so that would explain it. Anyway, okay, I'll uh, see you guys later.